This story is for those who feel dissatisfied with their lives and often compare themselves to others, believing others to be happier. Let's explore this tale and grasp the profound message it conveys. The story tells of a crow that lived in utter misery, feeling unloved, despised, and neglected. The crow's sorrow was so great that it spent its days weeping. One day, as it cried atop a tree branch, its tears fell on a monk sitting below. Observing the crow, the monk asked, Why do you weep? Tell me about your sorrow. The crow replied, I am utterly miserable. No one loves me, no one cares, and everyone wants to drive me away. I receive nothing good, and this pain makes me wish I no longer existed. I feel that death might be better than living such an unhappy life. The monk, compassionate and empathetic, responded, My friend, let me tell you something. Learn to find happiness in any circumstance, in any condition of life. We should not depend on external things to define our happiness, but rather find joy within ourselves. However, the crow could not fully grasp the monk's advice and continued to lament. The monk then asked, Tell me, what creature do you wish to become? I will help you achieve it through my magic. Surprised and delighted, the crow answered, Please turn me into a swan. Swans are beautiful and graceful creatures loved by all. The monk agreed but suggested, Before I do that, meet a real swan and ask if it is happy with its life. The crow joyfully flew off and soon found a swan swimming in a pond, admiring it immensely. Oh, swan, you are so beautiful and charming. Everyone loves you. Surely you are the happiest bird in the world. But the swan replied with a sad heart, No, I am not happy. Though people admire and love me, I always wish I had the vibrant colors of flowers. I feel my plain white color is worthless. The crow continued its search, hoping to find the truly happiest bird. Eventually, it found a swan caged in a zoo. Hundreds came to admire its beauty. But when they left, the crow approached and said, Oh swan, you are so beautiful and famous. Everyone admires you. Surely you are the happiest bird in the world. But the swan quietly replied with a sorrowful soul, No, my friend, I am not happy. People treat me as a mere decorative object, not understanding my suffering. I am confined and cannot fly freely. I live in constant fear that someone will pluck my beautiful feathers for decoration. It's heartbreaking. The swan continued. I always thought I'd be happier if I had more colors and the freedom to fly in nature. But now, I realize that as a crow like you, you aren't caged and no one tries to capture you. You are free to fly anywhere and blend with nature. Therefore, after all this time, I think if I were a crow, I would be much happier and freer. Be thankful that you can fly freely everywhere. Finally, the crow understood and appreciated the wisdom in the monk's advice. It flew back and said, I no longer wish to be any other bird. I am proud to be myself and have understood the value of freedom and truth in life. From now on, I will learn to be happy and content with what I have, rather than focusing on what I lack. We all have something special and unique, and if we fail to appreciate and be happy with what we have, we will never experience true happiness. Always find joy within and love yourself. That is the key to being the happiest person in the world. I hope this story inspires and brings meaning to you.
teaching you to find happiness and love for yourself in every situation. Always find joy and happiness from within, and never compare yourself to others. We are all unique and valuable individuals, and true happiness lies in understanding and appreciating our own worth. Thank you for listening to the story, and always keep a smile on your face.